14,523 miles, 1,273 gallons of fuel, 182 days on the road, and hundreds of hours of filming, editing, and sharing. 48 episodes of Arctic Bound Travels have brought us to this point, our last adventure in the North Country. With winter bearing down on us, we had just enough time for one more side trip into the Canadian and Alaskan wilderness to see something that we were told was just too incredible, too epic, to leave behind without seeing it for ourselves. And so, with the Stuart Cassier Highway behind us, we made a right-hand turn and headed towards the coast for the towns of Stuart, British Columbia, and Hyder, Alaska. Hyder is only accessible by road through Canada. You don't need a passport to enter, and there's no border checkpoint. This town of 87 people sits on a 15 square mile plot of U.S. land. And it wasn't long before we again crossed back into British Columbia as the rain continued to come down and a heavy fog settled in, shrouding our upcoming experience in just a bit of mystery. We pressed on, following the shelf roads and narrow trails to our destination, in hopes the weather would clear the next morning and grant us a view of what we had gone out of our way to see. As we rolled along through the fading fall colors, we reflected on our experiences over the past seven months. Looking back, it's honestly hard to believe just how much our little family had achieved to come this far. If you told us just one year ago that we were going to sell everything and travel the world, we would have laughed. But here we are, living a life that few have experienced, seeing things that few have seen, and learning lessons about the world and ourselves through fresh eyes and hearts. Deep down, we all desire something outside of our self-created sandbox of comfort and routine, something more alive, something tangible, real, and just a touch dangerous. So how does one find themselves living in a tent full-time and exploring the wilds of Alaska and Canada? What was it that led us to this point in our lives? In reality, our journey didn't begin April 1st, 2018. Our journey began many years ago, steered by whispers and drawn by notions of something bigger. After Caroline was born, we decided that being a couch potato on the weekends wasn't for us. And so, we bought a Forerunner, a Coleman Dome tent, an igloo cooler, and struck out to see what adventures we could find. Looking at a sky so clear So much to discover here Yellow Setting out on my own All the places <laughs> I can go Hi, did you sleep good? It's a long, long, long Long <laughs> All these answers left to find Many mountains left to climb No, there's valleys down below I got so much room to grow It's a long, oh, long, 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 Let's have some hot chocolate here. Let's do it. Riding towards the fire tower. Cat is baby and cat. That's right. Hey, what is the picture? No. What? Oh, I got you. Yeah. Uh, there she is. 
Cheers! Hi! <laughs> Joshua Tree. Okay. Joshua Tree. National Park. Machine Park. It's these moments that remain. After several years, we decided that we were ready for what we thought was a long expedition from southern New Mexico to northern Colorado. We spent months prepping, planning, and routing for what is now known as the Enchanted Rockies Trail. Just a few days before striking out, we bought a camera with the idea that we would document our travels for Caroline to watch and enjoy when she was older. Little did we know that our adventure would strike a chord with other families like ourselves and inspire folks to pursue a bit of adventure as well. After five years of intensively exploring New Mexico, Arizona, California, and Colorado, we were drawn to the wilderness more and more. We would come back from a long trip and wish it hadn't ended. After seven years of high-stress work environments with intense schedules, multiple personal losses, and their deep emotional scars, we were spending less and less time as a family, which resulted in struggles of its own. We decided it was time for a radical change. It was at this point, around a campfire in the Southern California desert, after venting our frustrations about our current life struggles and how we wished we could just leave it behind for a while, a fellow adventurer and YouTuber named Jason Kirchy asked us one simple question. Why not? As they say, the rest was history. While we had a thousand traditional notions and social expectations screaming not to jump into something radically different than the cultural norm, we also had one huge reason to dive in head first, and that was because we had more to lose on our current path of dying a slow, stress-filled life, pursuing temporary comforts and securities than we did to take a risk as a family and truly live. And so six weeks after that fateful campfire discussion, we had sold almost all of our possessions and moved into our Forerunner and Turtleback trailer. While security and predictability is a safe place to rest, there's another part of our soul that longs for excitement, risk, and challenge. We long to test ourselves and conquer our fears. We want to achieve something epic and unique. Not to say that the social norms are intrinsically bad, but a life consumed with pursuing those over faith and family can disconnect us from what really matters. Sometimes we need a hard stop and a bit of peace to find ourselves. Camper. We did what? Sell the camper. We sold the camper. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I was getting a little worried, but it happened. Not me. I called it. She called it. Where are we going today? To Death Valley. Yeah. After several weeks of final preparations, it was time for us to say goodbye to family, friends, and familiar territory as we struck out on one of our greatest adventures yet. The transition to living outdoors full time and spending every waking moment together presented its own challenges. It took us a while to find our groove and develop each person's responsibilities for daily life. While on the surface, this expedition may look like any family camping adventure. The truth is that if we wanted to maintain these travels, 
it was also necessary that we became a successful business venture in order to keep the fuel coming and the wheels turning. So, while Sarah was busy maintaining the logistics of our daily life with driving, cooking, cleaning, and homeschooling Caroline, I was behind the scenes developing and managing different parts of our income streams through social media management, product photography, videography, and video editing for various outdoor brands. Along with this main income, we were also growing our own YouTube channel, merch store, Patreon supporters, and a select few affiliate sales for products we had been using and testing for years. The goal was to eventually leave other jobs behind and solely focus on our own adventures as support for the channel grew. As it turns out, we were an awesome team, and it didn't take long before we fell into a routine. Well, mostly anyhow. So much stuff. So we have a little bit of an argument going on about dividers. This is like the real life stuff that happens here, so I'll eventually win. No, you won't. <laughs> hey, liking that Snowmaster. Love it. Love it? Yes, I can get so much food in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like creating like systems for how and where I want things. Okay. So I'm pretty stoked. Have I messed with your system too much yet? Uh, not yet. Okay. Now you've messed with my pantry and dragon. Oh, wait, wait till you see where I put groceries away. Oh, good lord. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. No. <laughs> this watch has been the bane of her existence. <laughs> okay, let's see if this will do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you can imagine, working with your spouse and daughter has its own unique set of difficulties, but we learn how to communicate and express ourselves better over time. No, it wasn't easy. No, we don't have it totally figured out. And no, we didn't film those parts. But yes, it was awesome for our marriage, and the lessons we learned were very valuable. So today is a special day. Today is our 10-year anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you. So now what are we doing? We're gonna eat some supper. What's for supper? Even though we were living life on the road, it didn't mean we were always eating fast food or sandwiches. Sarah has always been committed to creating amazing meals while we travel, and her tasty gourmet made any campsite feel like home. She has always had an act for making something amazing no matter the circumstances, as you have all seen. It's just a shame that no one has invented smell-o-vision yet. Oh, and we really don't eat steak and bacon all the time. It's just so much sexier to film than PB&Js. We've always been huge wildlife nerds, and this trip to the north was packed full of amazing animal encounters. The variety and frequency of animal sightings was one of our favorite parts of the adventure. We lost count of how many bears, caribou, moose, elk, and buffalo we saw along the way. These magnificent animals literally brought life to the landscape, and it was impressive to see them in their native environments.
we were fortunate enough not to have any dangerous animal encounters. The trip wasn't without its troubles. We have used our Forerunner hard over the past five years, and it wasn't unexpected to find a few items needing attention after 115,000 miles of rough service. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> Lesson learned. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Right, thank you. Yeah. While our wheel bearing replacement was a bit of a lengthy process, and the broken Icon shock mounts were a hassle under the circumstances, I think it's important to point out that the rig never left us stranded. And even now in present day, with 140,000 miles on old silver, we wouldn't trade her for any other make or model. The 4Runner platform has been absolutely perfect for our needs and has far exceeded our expectations. We will continue to give her the care and maintenance she needs to keep us going for years to come. Oh, and I guess I should mention that we are not sponsored by Toyota in any way. We just simply believe in the platform. If you knew everything this thing has been through, on camera and off, you would be even more amazed at its performance to date. Since starting this adventure, we have met some absolutely incredible people. Honestly, we don't know how we would have even got this venture off the ground if it wasn't for the support of so many amazing folks along the way. We want to thank the crew at Turtleback Trailers who helped us with our final preparations and upgrades, even though I just quit as their operations manager. Thank you especially to Keith and Maggie Kessler for opening up your hearts and your home to us when we needed it most. Your friendship means the world to us. Thank you to the Tavelde family for giving our dog Zeke an awesome place to stay and giving him so much love and care while we were away. Thank you to Justin, Claire, and Kane of 230 USA for opening up your home on short notice during one of our losses and being a constant encouragement to our travels. And thank you to all the many other amazing families and individuals who have supported us in so many different ways along our adventure. Funny seeing you guys out Yeah, there. what do you say? Yeah. Oh, yeah, grab that out. That's right. <laughs> this is the Rotate. meetup scene. Like, Rotate my oh, yes. camera mount here. There you go. There we go. <laughs> du dueling camera. Of all the incredible experiences we've had along this route, the ones that stick with us the most are the great people we have met along the way. There's just a special camaraderie within the travel community, and we were constantly amazed at how fast we became close friends with those we encountered. If you really want to get to know someone, Travel alongside them for a while in a remote wilderness. The bonds that are formed through overcoming tough trails or challenging recoveries will stick with you for a lifetime. We made some awesome new friends along this journey and we look forward to traveling with them again.
We feel so very blessed to have had the opportunity to experience this wonderful land in a very raw and intimate way. To lay under the stars and be lulled to sleep by the sounds of rushing rivers, howling wolves, and at times absolute silence, night after night, was a beautiful encounter our hearts will never forget. There were so many experiences that left us breathless, more alive, and aching for what might be next. You can't help but feel so very small when the static of the world is a thousand miles away and you're finally able to listen to the whisper in the wind that says there's something more, something precious out here that our distracted hearts have been missing all along. Our little family has seen so much during our North Country travels. This adventure has helped us learn more about ourselves as individuals while bringing us closer together through the team effort necessary to overcome the challenges of this lifestyle and the rewards of sharing some of the most incredible experiences this North Country has to offer. Our adventures to this land has truly changed us, and we will leave with a piece of it forever etched in our hearts. Do you remember going to a fireworks show for the first time as a kid? Remember the amazement with each thundering boom and colorful flash of light as it grew in intensity with every explosion and earth-shaking concussion? Did you ever think, it can't get any louder. It can't get any more amazing. It can't get any more epic. And then, there's a slight pause. And just when you think you've seen it all, the grand finale begins. Staring at this hole in the sky See, I keep wasting my time wondering Of all the places I could be I am not Who I was In the dreams We dare to dream when we are young One day we wake up and we become Something different We are the sums of our decisions Fruit of our ambitions, a grain of sand, a drop in the ocean. Oh, what a trying ocean! Maybe these days I can't help but getting this feeling I am sinking. The ground beneath my feet is starting.
beat harder And who can love in so many different ways Where you can love just one your whole life long And they don't feel the same Well, tell me, love, I'm only asking If it's funny, then why aren't you laughing? Love, I'm only My love, I am so Thank you for riding along with us for the past 48 episodes as we've shared our story. We can't thank you enough for all your support and encouragement. Please join us for season two of our adventures as the story continues. Until next time, safe travels and God bless. <laughs>